Yeah, every wait, wait, what? <laughs> What's up, everyone? Live and awesomeness and replay, and it's so funny. Like at the end of your life, are you actually gonna like you're in it? Check this out. You're up in heaven, and you're like, you know, oh my gosh, I have to hashtag replay. <laughs> like I'm watching from heaven, and I see you guys, <laughs> but I'm not. Li I'm I'm rewatching this. It's playing in the clouds, right? Hey, what? Maybe that's why uh, Apple called it in the clouds, right? That's pretty funny. What's going on, kids? Um, let me introduce myself. Um, hello. My name is uh, Eric Swanson. I had to read it on the background, by the way. It's right back there. Uh, just in case I forget. You know how that works. So uh, let's let's do something different today. Let's do something different. Let's do this. Let's uh, let's have everyone introduce themselves. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just introduce yourself. Okay. I'll give you 10 more seconds. Just, just turn to your dog or your cat and be like, hey, and reintroduce yourself. You're like, yeah, I feed you. Remember me? All right. So guys, my name is Eric Swanson. I'll be your host for the next, oh, 14 and a half minutes, maybe something like that. Um, I just thought, you know, I'd come on this thing called live and say hi to you guys. I'm, I'm actually in my studio here in, I have to look outside to see where I'm at. San Diego today. I'm in San Diego. So what do you guys got going on today? What's happening? I'm super excited to talk to you about this, uh, this really cool idea that I have. Oh, but first, I got to check to see if this mic check is working. Is this mic? By the way, the mic is awesome. I know. So let's check the mic check. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go. Oh, lots of hearts already. What's up? You know, yesterday was Taco Tuesday, and I can't believe I didn't get any tacos. I'll be honest with you. I was really pissed off at myself. I was really bummed out. I don't know what I was thinking. Let me check this out. How's the audio? Yeah, audio sounds good. It sounds just like me. What's up with that? What's up with that? Where did I get that, by the way? Is that Saturday Night Live? <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. You know, it's really fun. It's fun to be able to make people laugh, especially when they're in their they're, they're in your green room. Um, I have a few people in the green room, and they're eating all the lobster or something. What's going on down there? I don't know what's happening. All right, so check this out. Lots of people. Hey, Misty, what's happening? Hey, Misty. And, oh, Misty, Misty, Misty. Misty's commented a couple of times. Hey, buddy, what's up? Al Harris, good to see you, man. What's happening? Um, I guess I could put it on the on the screen over here too, can't I? What's up? Let's go with, hey buddy, what's happening? Hey buddy, what's up? Oh, we got DD Wong, what, what? Actually, she said, woot a woot. Okay, so woot woot, happen to be here watching, that's awesome. I'm super excited you're here because I have a surprise for you, DD. so stick around. We got Facebook user. Guys, stop using Facebook. I mean, seriously, I mean, they're nice to you. Stop using them. You know what I mean? Like, be nice to them. Um, but hi, Eric. <laughs> you have to uh, approve, as you can see down here, you have to approve <coughs> Facebook to be able to utilize your face and your name and your awesomeness. So there you go. Misty Lane, what's happening, Misty Lane? Hey, Eric, woohoo! Let's put some more music on. What's up? Let's see if we can get get away with like putting something on without putting it on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like it's like he, oh, I do recall long ago. It's kind of like um, have you ever done this? Like like you got the CSI episode. Well, I'm not saying you have you been in a CSI episode, but have you ever been like 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 you call up and you go, yeah, I got the goods, and they're trying to track you down, right? The police or something, and you're like, all right, and you're counting how long you can stay on before they track your phone. Well, that's what I have to do with the music. I have to just stay on just for a tiny bit and then just be like, I'm in and I'm out. <laughs> so what you got here? Uh, working, dare to something, something. Dare to share, going well. Awesome, I have no idea what that means, but that's great. Um, we got audio is good, thank you so much. We got Jennifer Gerald, hey, hey, hey! What's happening? My uh, awesome Habitude Warrior, oh, I gotta put it in the comments here. I gotta put it in the comments, I gotta put it in the comments. We got, whenever we have a, a rock star mastermind member, I got to put it in the comments. Uh, rock star member. Boom. There we go. So, bam. There it is. There it is. There it is. Hold on one second. Next song, please. All right. So, let's see if we can pull some. Oh, we have another rock star member. What's up? Brian Vandermuller. What's happening? Brian, what did you call yourself? Brian, um... Vander Million, I think you called yourself, right? <laughs> Something like that. That was really cool. I love it. All right, guys. So here's the deal. So today's topic, what I want to talk about, by the way, we're on all different uh, platforms. You should see my studio right now. Um, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on um, uh, YouTube, and we're on uh, uh, some more Facebook groups. So I see all of you guys, and I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Fantastic. That's, uh, you know, French. So, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about 
Um, and I'm just going to Van Billion. Oh, there we go. What did I say? Million? Excuse me. <laughs> That's funny. Van Billion. So sorry, buddy. So here's the topic. And I'm going to bring on a special guest because she's cool. And she just texted me. She's like, hey, I want to come on your your show, your little, your whatever you the hell you're doing. I want to be on there. I'm like, Psh, come on on. I actually said, Psh. I actually tried to type it. I was like, P-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
uh, with what I did three years ago, I just made a mandate and I just put it out in the atmosphere that I wanted to mm -hmm. interview millionaires and billionaires and uh, on my radio show. And so mm -hmm. when you when you say that, when you actually say that and believe that, then you know I truly believe you know God sends who He sends to you to to make those things occur uh, if you really 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 desire that. So part of being in the right crowd or having the right people around you is first of all with your mouth saying what it is that you want to happen, writing it down. Yes, so, from so a literally point. verbalizing it. You're saying verbalizing it. Okay. Yes. I love that. And, and as you know, from me and all my hands and what you saw, you know, when we were together is yeah. you know, I'm really into this whole motion thing. So it's not related to just saying it. What kind of action are you putting in place related to what it is that you said you want to do? You can't just say it. You can't just think it and say it. You have to put some action toward it. So right. if you want to have certain types of people around you. You have to take action. You have to take action. Yeah, there's a there's a buddy of mine that uh, his name's Greg Reed. Well, I call him Greg Scott Reed, but he says uh, his mom and I'm the only two people who call him that. Anyway, so Greg Scott Reed is a good buddy of mine. And he always says this. He goes, look, you got to take action because it's not just like the secret, you know, wish upon a star and everything will show up. Like he's like, if that were true, I'd be a pizza right now because I'm hungry. <laughs> so I, I love that line. But it's so true, yeah. like taking it into action. So, so tell me, do you have a story, uh, a backstory in regard? Well, I guess both of us do in regard to like who we were hanging out with. Interesting enough, you know, as we were bullied, we 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 had certain crowds that we were hanging out with, and and we were getting bullied, and maybe we were allowing ourselves to 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 accept that, to accept that in, and then mm -hmm. woe is me kind of thing. We had the woe is me crowd, right? And we were all circled around, going, "Yep." We're the bullied crowd, right? Not the bullying, but the bullied crowd. Interesting enough. And then breaking out of that and then coming over and like like a Marine, you know, don't leave any any man behind. You grab those those bullied ones and say, come on, let's let's fight for this. I'll show you how to do it, right? Like management 101, it's all about, um, it's not you go do it, it's let's go do this together. So mm -hmm. speak into that a little bit. Do you have any stories, backstories in regard? And tell us a little bit more about, if, if you're okay with it, uh, about your uh, kind of bullying situation of what happened to you. Mm -hmm. um, if, if, if you're okay with speaking into that. Yes, of course, of course. So part of it was the exact word that you said just now is the word that I used this morning when I had my group call uh, as, as part of what I do. And the word was allow. What was yep. it that I allowed? Because sometimes we do take that victim mentality, but we don't even know that that's what's happening in our mind. But when you step back and think about it after you're out of it, then it's like, I was allowing this this whole time. I was allowing this. And right. so uh, I speak on mindset, I speak on leadership, and a lot of it is the whole mindset thing. You know, what are you doing in your mind or not doing? Right. And so, it wasn't that I was really hanging out with anyone other than people who like sports, people who like dance and music and things of that nature. But I just really put myself into my studies and I excelled actually in anything and everything that, that I put my hands to. And then another kind of crowd comes comes along, you know, still those people who were kind of like putting me down for like, who does she think she is kind of thing. But yeah. then it was also people that recognize my excellence in this area, this area and, and the next. And so then you're allowed to do what you were put on this earth to do once you realize that. And one of the things that I said, even when I was with Dee Dee Wong, you were talking about uh, earlier, she was on, hey, Miss right. Dee, is that greatness recognizes greatness. Mm -hmm. Greatness recognizes greatness. And so that's not any kind of snob remark or anything, but it's true. It's true. If you have excellence in your life, someone is going to notice and someone is going to be want to be around that. If you have fire, if you have energy, people are going to want to either be like that or like, wow, you like what, what kind of vitamins do you take? That's what people right. ask me, you know, right. what's your morning routine, you know, and, and you're Mr. Awesome. You're always full of energy. And so I'm sure people uh, ask you those kinds of questions. And yeah. so it, it's just a matter of recognizing who you are and then People that are like-minded will come. They will come. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I love what you said there. And it's it reminds me of uh, uh, when Harry met Sally, I think was the movie. And at and it, it, one of the scenes, the, the the lady goes, I'll have what she's ordering. <laughs> and it's it's like people want to respond to 
to greatness, to awesomeness, you know? And, and for me, like, like you, I think, you know, this, and a lot of people know this, I, I quit uh, drinking coffee and, and I, I quit three things. I quit alcohol, coffee, and negativity. Those right. are the three major things I get rid of. And like, when I go into a coffee shop, I still go into coffee shops and like, I'm other people's coffee. Now it's kind of funny. Like they're like, can I have a dose of whatever you have? You know, I'm like, sure. Yeah, you know, I've actually had people rub on me. Yeah, that's I right. Want, I, want to, I want some of that to rub off on me. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I got arrested once for that reason as well. So, <laughs> so, so, doing that. <laughs> so what do you say? What do you do when somebody is like, like really negative? And you know what, what I, I used to have a friend of mine. Okay, so check this out. Um, when I used to drink, um, I, I, I had this like, I, they said anger issues. I'm like, I have no anger issues. I have anger. Uh, it's not an issue for me. Anyway, so what happened was I was like really kind of aggressive and everything. This is 10, 15 years ago, whatever it was. Um, and, and the thing is, I noticed that one person, a friend of mine that I used to hang out with, she would, if she saw any signs of negative or, or anything bad, like it wasn't just me, I'm saying like two people fighting or something. She would literally, I would see her do a 180 and walk away literally she'd walk to the other side of the street or just kind of, kind of move to the, to, to a different territory or area. So cool. You know, I love that. So what do you say to somebody who, you know, has, has a issue where they, they constantly keep on running up to, to negative people or people keep on coming up and with all their negative issues and negative problems, how do you, how do you deal with that? Do you have a system? Ha <laughs> ha smile. Somebody just said something about their smile. Check it out. Jennifer Gerald. Boom. <laughs> so tell me about that. Aww. So what do you do? You just you just smile at them? Is that what you do? Yeah. I'm I'm so serious. I'm so serious right now because the thing is with a smile, you you can just change the atmosphere of, of a room with, with your yeah. smile. Even if you don't have any teeth, even if your teeth are bad, you know, maybe somebody will even laugh at it. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, those teeth are like, you know, ratchet teeth or whatever. But <laughs> I don't know if anybody ever says that, but a smile can make such a big difference. It can make yeah. such a big difference. So yes, there's there's words potentially that come after that, but just taking a moment yourself to breathe yeah. and just flash that smile and maybe the, the two or three or four milliseconds that come after that, don't feel it, feel it with your opinion or with your emotion related to the issue. Take that breath, smile, take a few moments, and then see, you know, see what God sends down for you to say or not say, because sometimes you can combat negativity with zero words at all. Yeah. And, words at all. and then sometimes you smile, they're like, what is she smiling about? Like, what is she thinking? Like, if you just smile and walk off. <laughs> right. Have you ever <laughs> smiled and what see? What the heck just happened? <laughs> you know, one time God told me to smile and then throw a little uh, one finger action up too. And that was a bad idea. All right. So, so that's awesome. So I love the, I love the fact that you just throw the smile and, breathe, and what you're saying smile, is smile, take a moment, yeah, breathe, smile, take a moment and, and really um, come smile from your heart. Right. Smile from your heart. Smile from your, your awesomeness. That's what I always say. And uh, I love that. I think that's so cool. Uh, that's awesome. So how do you, how do you, how do you, I mean, I know how I do it, but how do you surround yourself with the right type of people? You know, do you actually have a list? And uh, I, I call mine the elephant list. I'll just tell you what it is. Here it is. I call it the elephant list where I have um, on one side of a piece of paper, I write down every six months I do this. I write down 10 names of people I want to start surrounding myself with that are really cool, influential people. You know, I was like, I want to meet the dude who really put Priceline on the map. So I met him, started hanging out with him. Um, and now he's part of our stages and so forth. Um, I was like, you know, Shark Tank looks cool. I want to meet uh, one of these guys. So I met Kevin Harrington, sh shared stages with him. Um, I want to meet like really cool individuals. So I do that every six months. And 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 it's highlighting the who you want to surround yourself with. And then on the flip side of the piece of paper, I write down what I call the donkey list. And the donkey list is, is 10 names of people you should stop surrounding yourself with. <laughs> they're just, you know, they're bringing it down. They're, they're just, they're, they're not serving the purpose of, of, of humanity of awesomeness. And mm -hmm. um, now, don't, don't do this. Don't call them and say, Hey, you made that donkey list. Don't do that. But, uh, but just start. And people say, well, how do you stop ha hanging around with some of these people? And I always say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I got an appointment. I'm sorry. And some people are like, well, if you don't have an appointment, what do you say? And I say, well, I always have an appointment. The appointments either with somebody or with myself or with God, right? So you always have an appointment. Yeah. What's your strategy? So it's twofold. And I kind of mentioned a little bit of this earlier about they will come. They will come. Part yeah. of it is setting that intention. So I have a thing called Thrive in Five and, and it's an ABCD, 
E method, but before you get to the A, B, C, D, E, it starts with intention and it ends with thrive. And so when we look at that, it's a matter of, again, put in your heart, put on your vision board, your wall, wherever it is, what it is that you want to do, who you want to meet. And even if you don't know their names, you can have the in, in, intention. And, and all those people you just met have either been on my show or are about to be on my show. The Priceline guy that you mentioned, he'll be on my show on Tuesday. <laughs> the Priceline so, guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I've, I've, I've just put out there that that's what I want to do. And sometimes, depending on who I meet, they are already connected with one of the people I want to be connected with. Right. And um, sometimes you can just ask for an invitation uh, to uh, introduction. But a lot of times it, it's not even like that because I know so many different people, not just, you know, the one top one percent people, you know, from a religious perspective or even from a sports perspective. I'm really into sports. If there's someone that I want to meet, a lot of times it just gets aligned that I'm going to come into contact with that person. It just happens. Yeah. It just happens. And so what, or, what sports are we? What sports are we talking about? Do you play tennis? Is that is that one of the sports? I'm on I'm on a stage coming up uh, soon this this Friday. I think Nick Bolateri is is going to be speaking oh. with Les Brown and and Brian Tracy and and it's going to be pretty cool. Um, but what what sports are you were you uh, involved in? If like all of them? <laughs> well, yeah, um, but no, I um, when I was in high school, I was in the marching band, and part of being in the marching band is that we would uh, make money for our band by cleaning the football field. And yeah. so even in, so in, jun in elementary, junior high, high school, I've always played football. I was a tomboy growing up. My brother is four years older than me. So it was me and all of his friends. Right. So football, uh, basketball, uh, golf uh, wow. is another another sport that uh, I love. My husband and I are both left-handed. So now, hold on, are you good at all these sports? You're left-handed, okay. So are you good at all these? I mean, like, are you a scratch golfer? What's the deal here? Excuse me? You are. Come on. Bring it. No. Bring it. Tell us how good you are. I want to know. So how good I am at golf is that I hope that uh, I at least make part a couple times. Okay. I have actually made one hole in one in my whole life. Some people wow. cannot even say that. And yeah. I was screaming and yelling, you're not supposed to do that. You know, the etiquette thing on the golf course. But I was oh. so extremely happy uh, that I, yeah. So I had, I've had a hole in one, but no, I just try to make par when I can. And, and that happens every now and then. And yeah. I have some really great uh, chips, some really great um, uh, drives from the women's tee. If I do a, uh, if we're playing a, where um, everybody just kind of goes, you know, together, yeah. uh, I, um, a scramble, that's what that is. Okay. And then a lot of times they use my ball because mine go, they, they go straight. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. My my golf game is um, I somehow I have the same score as my bowling game and I'm really good at bowling. Which is not that great for golf. Anyway, continue. So let's get back to what you're saying. So so you're both left handed. How does that tell me about that? There's got to be a story behind you both being left handed, you and your husband. Um, there's there's got to be I mean, maybe not a story. I'm saying there's some some awesomeness that you can get out of that, I think. Uh, and well, there, might be, there, there may be a lesson there. If we don't take our golf clubs with us, then if we have to rent a set of clubs, a lot of times they don't have two sets. And so we both can just use the same set. That was the only only main point there. Got and it. then uh, playing football, we do uh, the Turkey Bowl uh, every year. We haven't done it in the last year or so, but um, this this coming Thanksgiving. And I've been do we've been doing that since we were married. We've been married for 28 years and um, we used to live in Indiana, still doing the Turkey Bowl in November, but now we're in Arizona. So uh, nice. it, it's really, it's great fun, great fun. I'm speaking on stage in Arizona in October, I think, at a, at a Smart Femme uh, Summit. So I'll see you in, I'll see you in Arizona. Right. Oh, okay, I'm okay. Gonna, that's amazing. She's All right. Saying so, hi, and she's saying bye. Hi and I bye, know. love you. We gotta take off, I know. Um, good to see you, uh, Didi. So, just real quick, uh, everyone, Didi Wong is amazing, and there's a there's a um, a, a, t a TV show that Crystal and I are on. Um, thank you to Didi Wong for inviting us to be on this, and uh, it was really cool. There, I think there's only 13 people that were picked uh, this mm -hmm. each season, and, and we're on season two now, and it's um, it's pretty cool. So, it's gonna be on Amazon. We'll we'll you know I'm not promote I'm we're not here to promote that, but I'm gonna mm -hmm. I can tell you check it out because it's on Amazon Prime and it'll be coming out this fall. It's called Speak Up. So it's really cool. And check check out Crystal. How was your experience? I mean, your your experience was amazing on that, right? I mean, can you, can you I, what I'd love you to do if, if you're able to, uh, and 
if you'd like to um, share uh, from the time you stepped off of the stage and went towards the production room. How, what what were you, what was happening in your awesomeness? <laughs> so that's when I was done speaking, pardon? You said when I was done speaking. That's the way. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's so I I speak, I I dance, I sing, I do a lot of different things on stage. I MC and all of that. And so when something goes really really well, right. Uh, while I'm on the stage or right when I get off, I'm ready to just go, woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, and so, you know, the cameras are still rolling and all that. So I didn't do it there, but I went straight out the door, straight down the hallway, straight down the other hallway, out the door, into the parking lot and did my woo. I did. That, that's yeah. what it was. Okay, because I, 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 yeah. saw, I saw like tears coming down your face. You were in- There were in no the tears, but yeah. You yeah. were in the motion of it. It was amazing. Okay. Yeah. And then and then it was the woo. Oh man, I would have loved to hear that from the studio. Cause guys, we were actually in a in a TV studio over in, in Texas, uh recording the whole season and so forth. And it was so cool. So Eric, we had um, just some I forgot amazing I still pieces. had the mic on me. So you probably oh. could probably could have if they hadn't turned, you know. Oh. Probably, Hopefully they won't edit that out. That's great. I hope it's still in there. It was on and um I just went out and then after I was in the parking lot, I'm like, oh my gosh, I still have the mic on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's like it's like that movie Leslie Nielsen. He goes into the restroom, he's still got the mic on. Oh my god. <laughs> So we got, uh, let's say hi to some people here. Jennifer Gerald's one of our rock star members of the Mastermind, uh, Habit You Warrior Mastermind. Um, oh my gosh, I need to meet her, Eric. Oh, there you go. All right, I'll introduce you guys. There there you go. In fact, um, Crystal Crystal may be one of our speakers on one of our upcoming Habit You Warrior conferences. So we'll chat about that. Um, you got Jennifer loving you. Uh, let's see, Didi says hi. Everyone else says, let's say hi to a lot of people. Mikey's here. Dylan, Dylan is a... I don't know. Maybe. Oh, he's saying, "Hey, bro." I guess he knows me, not you. <laughs> um, hey, Dylan, what's happening? Hi, um, Dylan. <laughs> how are you, buddy? Uh, let's see who else is jumping on here. We got uh, Brian Vanderbillion. Um, he says, "Happy birthday, by the way, to you." And oh, happy birthday, you. fifty-six. You are so young. I love that. Um, by the way, Brian's in Anthem. Anthem's near you, probably. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to have a Scottsdale uh, event coming up uh, um, maybe towards the end of this year, but most likely 2021. So that should be a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, let's speak a little bit more and then we'll, we'll wrap this up in a couple minutes here. I, I want to just let me give you a couple ideas or, you know, let me let me talk to you guys um, while Crystal's here uh, about really, you know, deciding, making the decision. In fact, I'm going to go full screen just for a second, um, making that 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 real awesome decision. To, to, to treat yourself um, with respect. And, and what I mean to, by this is like, you know, like we, we mentioned earlier, you know, a lot of us have kids and we teach our kids, we say, well, surround yourself with the right crowd, but then you don't replace the, the bad crowd with the good crowd, right? So, and that's what, that's what uh, the problems are in regard to, let's say smoking cigarettes or, you know, overeating or something, you know, different habits that we have, you have to replace it with a good habit. So it's the same thing as we're, when we're adults in regard to connecting with the right individuals. So start what I call up leveling or, or stepping up, you know, step up that level of success in respect for yourself. Um, and I had to learn how to do this. And I, I suggest that you guys do the same thing. Um, really take a, take a study for yourself or take an evaluation. You know, how are you, what are you doing with your self-talk? Are you, are, are, are you saying one thing out there in public? And then when you get back to your, your house or, you know, with your family and you, you say, oh yeah, you know, and you downplay yourself or, or you, or you bring yourself down by, by the, by the verbiage that you use. So just be cautious there. I was doing a, um, a live, uh, I mean, like an interview summit yesterday. And, um, and it's pretty cool. It's, it's called a uh, quantum leap into riches. And, and what they were talking about and what we discussed was, was really, you know, the verbiage that you say to yourself and, and, and she asked me, she says, well, um, she says, Eric, you obviously surround yourself with so many great individuals and, and you, you start surrounding yourself with them. And she said some type of the way she said it, I, I actually timed out. I said, wait, wait, wait hold on. Um, Actually, I'm allowing myself to be available for them to absorb me and Mr. Awesome. And she's like, wow, that's a really good point. And, and I don't say it like an ego way. I say it in a respect yourself way, you know, connect 
the dots by by surrounding yourself with the right type of people by by making sure you are one of those type of people other people should sur surround themselves with you Do, does that make sense so crystal would you like to share just a, a few um few ideas on uh speaking into that yeah, yeah. Uh, everything you said uh it's basically ditto 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 <laughs> that's right self-talk self is is huge yeah. the self -talk is huge and <laughs> it's not where anyone can make you feel less than so that you can be around them uh, if, if you don't allow yourself to feel that way. Like they should want to be around you because of the awesomeness and the greatness that is within you. So when I talk about jumping into your greatness, we all have greatness inside of us. We mm -hmm. all do. We all have something that is that one special thing, if not two, three or four or five, we all have that one thing that's inside of us that the rest of the world needs to see, hear, touch, feel, smell, like, you know, we are here for a reason. Mm. And so once we find that out, the light of that will just shine so bright that people will be like, who is that? Yeah, yeah. Who is that? And, that's, and, and you and I are so similar. We even look like we're so similar that, that when we walk in, I mean, have you had this problem as well? Or this this this, this blessing where you walk into anywhere and people are like, uh, I don't know what just happened, but I really want to surround myself with that person. What's happening? Right. Yeah. And, and yeah. interestingly, you said something a second ago that it, I'm, I'm probably going to re uh, not recall exactly how you said it, but I'll, I'll say it a different way. What I like to do is. I strive to be that awesomeness so that other people, when they surround themselves with me, they can take whatever they can from whatever my attitude is and feel good about themselves and their lives. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. my, my goal at all times, you know, and, yeah. and it's, it's called, it's even on my, one of my yeah. um, uh, 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 dog tags here, it's called no drama serve others and mm -hmm. DSO, which is so, just awesome uh, just to oh sorry let me wave it off to it you There's threw a little space. Stop that. Here that Stop that. It's over here now cut it out go back over go, it's so go it's, another one <laughs> i'm trying to be serious here for a man for a moment yeah <laughs> i was going to say it, that it's it's such an honor when things like that happen and uh, there, there, there's something that, that's a statement that, you know, from a Christian perspective is uh, WWJD. What would, what would Jesus do? Sure. Um, there's bracelets and all of these things. And then when I hear someone that had either something great that happened or something that was about to happen or they needed to jump over an obstacle or whatever it is, and they say to themselves, well, what I said to myself was, what would Crystal do? <clears throat> what would Crystal do? And that's how they got through whatever it is because they they patterned what they did, their response on what I would do based on what they know about me, and they got through it. And that's yeah. just like, wow, that's so humbling when somebody says something like that. Yeah, it really is. That's awesome. Oh, I appreciate you sharing that. Well, this is so cool. I really appreciate you stopping by. I know you're right down the street. Sorry about moving the fly over to back over to your place there. Um, <laughs> this is awesome. I really appreciate you being here. And um, and we will definitely connect you with all of our tribe and uh, vice versa and so forth. And just be careful, guys. Like, here's the deal. We only have a certain number of time, you know, in the day of every day. So be careful of who you really surround yourself with, you know, make sure you're connecting with the right individuals. Um, so... Uh, let me finish this up and then uh, hang tight. I will uh, I will finish this up in a second. Say 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 see you later, Crystal. Rock and roll. And Crystal is gone. So <laughs> she's in the green room now. So so guys, uh, really appreciate her being here and just like jumping in and saying hi. And uh, she's she's got a world of knowledge of awesomeness. Uh, I was very impressed when I met her. Um, when when we met, it's it's almost like we knew each other right from the start. We're like, what's up? What's up? You know, and we just uh, just met. So over in Dallas, I think it was. So rock and roll, uh, Ron Cooming. What's up, man? Surround yourself and myself with fellow HW. Yeah, Habitude Warriors. I know. And we got Jennifer saying she's such. Oh, there you go. Um, so Crystal in the green room can probably still hear this. Uh, she is a bright light. Thank you for sharing with her with us. Yes, absolutely. In fact. Um, let's take a vote. We need to get uh, Crystal into uh, not only our stages, of course, but but um, but the habit to wear um, masterminds. That'd be so cool. All right, guys. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for you know sharing your your time for the last 15, 20 minutes with us here. Um, rock and roll. I, I I appreciate your time. Appreciate your awesomeness. Keep rocking and change some people's lives. And I gotta go because well, I didn't get tacos yesterday, and I gotta go get them tonight. <laughs>